in the mathematical discipline of linear algebra, the Scher decomposition or Scher triangulation, named after Assay Scher, is a matrix decomposition. Statement: The Scher decomposition reads as follows: If A is a n a n square matrix with complex entries, then A can be expressed as where Q is a unitary matrix and U is an upper triangular matrix, which is called a Scher form of A. Since U is similar to A, it has the same multisit of eigenvalues, and since it is triangular, those eigenvalues are the diagonal entries of U. The Scher decomposition implies that there exists a nested sequence of A invariant subspaces 0 equals V O ash V1 ash ash Vn equals Cn, and that there exists an ordered orthonormal basis such that the first I basis vectors span by for each I occurring in the nested sequence. Phrased somewhat differently, the first part says that a linear operator J on a complex finite dimensional vector space stabilizes a complete flag. Proof A constructive proof for the show decomposition is as follows Every operator A on a complex finite dimensional vector space is an eigenvalue I, corresponding to some eigenspace Vi. Let Vi ash yen be its orthogonal complement. It is clear that, with respect to this orthogonal decomposition, a has matrix representation. Where A is the identity operator on Vi. The above matrix would be upper triangular except for the A22 block. But exactly the same procedure can be applied to the submatrix A22, viewed as an operator on Vi ash yen, and its submatrices. Continue this way n times. Thus the space Cn will be exhausted and the procedure has yielded the desired result. The above argument can be slightly restated as follows, let I be an eigenvalue of A, corresponding to some eigenspace Vi. O induces an operator T on the quotient space Cn modulo Vi. This operator is precisely the A22 submatrix from above. As before, T would have an eigenspace, say we one quarter ash Cn modulo Vi. Notice the primage of we one quarter under the quotient map is an invariant subspace of A that contains Vi. Continue this way until the resulting quotient space has dimension zero. Then the successive primages of the eigenspaces found at each step form a flag that A stabilizes. Notes: Although every square matrix is a show decomposition, in general this decomposition is not unique. For example, the eigenspace Vi can have dimension greater than one in which case any orthonormal basis for Vi would lead to the desired result. Write the triangular matrix U as U equals D plus N, where D is diagonal and N is strictly upper triangular. The diagonal matrix D contains the eigenvalues of A in arbitrary order. The nilpotent part N is generally not unique either, but its Frobenius norm is uniquely determined by A. It is clear that if A is a normal matrix, then U from its Cho decomposition must be a diagonal matrix and the column vectors of Q are the eigenvectors of A. Therefore, the Cho decomposition extends the spectral decomposition. In particular, if A is positive definite, the Cho decomposition of A, its spectral decomposition, and its singular value decomposition coincide. A commuting family I of matrices can be simultaneously triangularized. That is there exists a unitary matrix Q such that, for every I in the given family, QIQ is upper triangular. This can be readily deduced from the above proof. Take element A from I and again consider an eigenspace VA. Then VA is invariant under all matrices in I. Therefore all matrices in I must share one common eigenvector in VA. Induction then proves the claim. As a corollary, we have that every commuting family of normal matrices can be simultaneously diagonalized. In the infinite dimensional setting, not every bounded operator on a Banach space is an invariant subspace. However, the upper triangularization of an arbitrary square matrix does generalize to compact operators. Every compact operator on a complex Banach space has a nest of closed invariant subspaces. Computation Show decomposition of a given matrix is known to be numerically computed by QR algorithm or its variants. In other words, the roots of the characteristic polynomial corresponding to the matrix are not necessarily computed ahead in order to obtain its show decomposition. Conversely, 
QR algorithm can be used to compute the roots of any given characteristic polynomial by finding the show decomposition of its companion matrix. Similarly, QR algorithm is used to compute the eigenvalues of any given matrix, which are the diagonal entries of the upper triangular matrix of the show decomposition. See the non-symmetric eigenproblems section in LAPAC User's Guide. Applications, Lie theory applications include, every invertible operator is contained in a Borel group. Every operator fixes a point of the flag manifold. Generalized show decomposition, given square matrices A and B, the generalized show decomposition factorizes both matrices as and, where Q and Z are unitary, and S and T are upper triangular. The generalized show decomposition is also sometimes called the QZ decomposition. The generalized eigenvalues that solve the generalized eigenvalue problem can be calculated as the ratio of the diagonal elements of S to those of T. That is, using subscripts to denote matrix elements, the Fth generalized eigenvalue satisfies. References Horn, R. A. and Johnson, C. R. Matrix Analysis. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-38632-2. A.B. Golub, G.H. and Ban Loan, Compare Matrix Computations. Johns Hopkins University Press. ISBN 0-8018-5414-8. Anderson, E. By, Z. Biscoff, C. Blackford, S. Demel, J. Dongara, J. Ducros, J. Greenbaum, A. Hamarning, S. McKenney, A. Sorensen, Dillapak User's Guide. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. ISBN 0 89871 447 8.